Hello, dear friend, you are watching your weekly astrology horoscope. And here we are actually at the end of January and ready to move into February. And this week also brings some interesting changes. We will have a new moon. So there is really like a new beginning, a new direction. We also have Mercury turning direct. And uh, I think we are kind of ready for this as well. Like, yeah, things are really shifting and hopefully in a new direction, like in a way that we can be also looking more towards the future, not so much towards the past. There are other things which are also important. The sun will have an exact conjunction with Saturn. And this can bring like lots of focus into some serious matters and uh, can help us to get more organized, more grounded, more practical. So I think that on Friday, things will shift significantly. And uh, you'll understand why when we get there. So let's get started with Monday. Monday is um, kind of overall calm day we have the moon in aquarius and uh, this is also the last day of the lunar cycle so from one side might something interesting may happen and uh, we can open up for more variety in our lives so it can be interesting and uh, kind of like exciting but at the same time, when this is also the last day of the lunar cycle, we might be a little bit more introspective. And um, the energy may not be so intense on an external level. Because again, we need to look into ourselves, into the last one month maybe, make a little reassessment of it, and kind of like prepare energetically for the new cycle. So... The day can be also a little bit like slower or more, again, focused on retrospections. If you need some time off to relax, to take care of yourself, this might be a great time. Then on Tuesday, we have a new moon in Aquarius and there is a special video coming up for, coming out for this lunation. So uh, yeah, make sure to... Uh, to check your emails. I will send you a notification about this one. So this new moon is the actual beginning of the new lunar cycle and the energy changes overall after that we can focus more on the external and prepare for something there like activities or projects or whatever even though this new moon is also more specific and you will understand why in this special video. So yeah, things are kind of different than normally, but it is a new moon. So it is a new cycle and new energy that we can embrace and prepare for. Then on Wednesday, the moon will be in Pisces in conjunction with Jupiter. So more emotions, more sensitivity, more creativity. It's a great time to yeah, focus on things that are pleasant for you, which are joyful, on something which is spiritually important for you. For meditation, spiritual practices, this is a great time. But keep in mind that on Wednesday, Mercury is already stationary. So it means that some things may also be a little slower in terms of communication, our plans, and overall how things are developing around us. So it's also a nice time if you um, need to relax a little bit or focus on some kind of creative inner work. And then on Thursday, we have Mercury turning direct. Mercury is in Capricorn for now. So, of course, this can affect Capricorns, the other Earth signs as well. And, um, yeah, after that, we have this green light for starting 
new projects, new activities, and um, it seems like we will be more able to focus on the external and to look into the future. So most of January, actually, we had Venus and Mercury retrograde. And um, this is a really kind of like complicated combination, which from one side can be great for working with the internal experiences, for reassessment, but it's kind of like more complicated if you want to look towards the future and plan things and take action. So now with uh, Mercury also turning direct, and I want to remind you, Venus is already direct. Last week we had this shift. This week we expect Mercury to turn direct. So I think that it can allow us to focus more into the outside world and um, yeah, concrete directions that we want to follow. Um, after that, on Friday, on Friday, the energy is shifting significantly. So first of all, we are after a new moon. We are after Mercury direct. And on top of that, we have the Sun in conjunction with Saturn and Mars in sextile with Jupiter. So we can get really triggered to do something practical, to focus on something, pursue some goals, take action on that, and be grounded and hopefully inspired at the same time because of this double aspect combination, Sun with Saturn and also Mars with Jupiter. So yes, there might be some kind of uh, projects that require hard work. There might be some limitations. This is Saturn after all. So it might feel like mm, we need to be strong at this point. We need to be uh, very hardworking and practical. But at the same time, the Mars-Jupiter aspect can bring a meaning into everything. And meaning is so important. Like, even though if some things may feel challenging and difficult, if we have this feeling or sense of some kind of meaning, this changes things, like, entirely. So I really hope that we will find this sense of meaning into whatever we are focusing on or whatever we are experiencing and we can hopefully move towards some kind of goal and take action. On top of that, on Friday, the moon is moving into Aries around 10 a.m. Eastern time. So this is also very active, dynamic energy, which supports taking action and doing something concrete and kind of like being engaged with the outside world. So Friday is really, really different. And after that, I think that it's kind of like turning the new page of the book. Like, okay, let's move on, so to speak. And yeah, I think we do need this one. On Saturday, the moon is still in Aries. So we still have this dynamic energy. We can be productive. We can take action. We can be brave and enthusiastic and courageous to, to do stuff. Uh, there is a challenging aspect <clears throat> with Mars and Venus. So we need to be careful. So we don't, um, we don't fall into the trap of uh, this impulsiveness or impatience. Um, the positive thing is that the moon has a nice aspect with Saturn and the sun. So it's nice to focus on practical things again, to be grounded, to be uh, connected with the material reality in a way. And Sunday is also a very positive day. Mars is having a creative aspect with Neptune, which can help us with more creativity, with... Uh, doing things which feel important, which feel nurturing and, uh, and significant. Whether you are taking care of someone, helping them, or just doing something that has a deeper meaning for you. Or you might be also more creative, more enthusiastic, more inspired to do things. So it's a pretty nice combination. The moon will be in Aries until 6 p.m., 
So we have this impulse to do stuff, to take action, to be productive. After that, during the evening, the moon is in Taurus, so the energy can be a little bit more grounded and um, we can focus on more practical things or we may just relax. So, But in one way or another, yeah, this is also a productive time for us. So uh, the beginning and the end of the week are really different. And uh, the energy really goes in this direction that um, it's time to finish something to put the end of something and really like move on so refocus again on the future on something external take action be productive in the outer world so that's what we can expect during this week i would love to hear your thoughts how you feel and um, what is your expectation or do you feel like it's time for us to go back to the outside world and the future, or maybe not. I'm excited to understand. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week.